Come out of there. Come on. Hands up. Ninety-nine times out of one hundred, kids are perfectly fine in new situations. They adjust. Even if they cry and scream and throw a tantrum when you drop them off, which Johnny did not do, they typically stop the minute you're out of sight. Mm -hmm. And what if they forget to say goodbye? Craig, that was probably a good thing. It meant that Johnny was more interested in playing with his new friends. Think about it. The boy's been completely isolated. He spends so much time with adults. He's probably so happy to be spending time with kids his own age. You mean it's it's possible that he's happy? Yeah. In fact, I'm sure he is. You need to relax. I'd like to. I, I really would, Carly. But what if things aren't as picture perfect as you make them out to be? I mean, what if there's a crisis in there? It could be something as small as a food fight. Or there could be a bully. Where are you going? I can't take this anymore. I'm going in there. How'd it go? Pencil pushing morons. Mm, that well. You know, all I wanted to do was stick my head in and see how he was doing. What in the world is wrong with that? Do you want a list? It undermines the teacher's authority, it disrupts the classroom, and it might remind some children that they miss their parents. Aha! Uh -huh. So you admit he might actually be missing me. I knew it! Can't you just chill out? Unless you hear word to the contrary, you have to assume that everything's fine. I can't assume that everything's fine. In my experience, things don't go like that. Bad things happen. You love your child, you turn your back for one second and he's gone. It's not gonna happen again. How do you know? Because you've been through enough. Johnny is home for good, Craig. He's not gonna disappear. Well, I hope you're right. He's only five years old. He needs his father. What the hell with teacher authority? Why can't I visit him? What's in there that they don't want me to see? Just what are they trying to hide? Police! Come out of there, come on. Hands up. That ought to be good. You see, today is Johnny's first day of school, and Craig here, the teacher wouldn't let him uh, go in and see how he's doing, so he was trying to peek in a window, and I was trying to stop him. No, you were. You were trying to show me the right window. Can you guys at least get your stories straight? I can assure you there was no harm done. Oh, well, these days, criminal trespass on school property, very, very serious crime. Oh, come on, Jack. Would you give us a break I could here? bring you down to the station right now. Oh, you wouldn't want your children and all their classmates to see Carly arrested at their school. Can't you see this for what it is and let it go? Now, what is is it exactly it's neurotic behavior by an overprotective parent that explains him what about your neurotic behavior hanging out with him please jack all right but if i ever find you here again i'll read you your rights and ask questions later i told you peeking in that window was a big mistake no one forced you to stay i was trying to keep you out of trouble well there was no harm done was there well, if I hadn't been with you, you'd be downtown right now getting your mug shot taken. <sighs> he was just blowing smoke. All right, well, let's not tempt fate, all right? Let's get out of here. I'll leave on one condition. What? I'm hungry. You want to get a bite? Inside, someplace warm. Absolutely. And not in the school cafeteria. How does the Lakeview sound? It's a deal. After you. I couldn't believe it. I got to the school and guess who was hiding in the bushes like a stalker? Craig. Well, that is sick. Well, it's not even the worst of it. Guess who's with him? You're kidding me. I wish. 
Well, why would she go to all the trouble of canceling the wedding if the two are going to be joined at the hip That's what I'd like to know, but she kept saying that Craig was just over-anxious that it was Johnny's first day of school. But tell me, what, what parent turns into a stalker because his kid goes off to kindergarten? Well, if he really wants to see Johnny that badly, maybe he should volunteer to be a teacher's assistant. Are you kidding me? With his record, he couldn't get, even in, he couldn't get into the PTA. And no matter how many times I say it, Carly keeps encouraging him. Come on. I thought we weren't going to talk about Craig and I know, Charlie. I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, see, this is, this is me thinking of you and me and nobody else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Better kiss me better than that. Mm. Oh, oh. Uh, what's wrong? Oh, make it stop, please. God, make it stop. Hi, Jack. Fancy meeting you here. What a coincidence. Yeah, you're not going to arrest us for trespassing, are you? Maybe I should have earlier, Craig, then you couldn't ruin our lunch. Easy, Jack. So why don't you and Mr. Peeping Craig here go uh. someplace else to eat? Don't worry, we won't uh, get in your way. You're always in my way. So what's really going on here, Carly? You decided you couldn't marry the guy, but you just can't get enough of him, is that it? It's lunch, Jack, just a little lunch. We'll sit far away so you can enjoy yourself. You know what? No need, no need, because I'm not... Really feeling all that hungry. Mind if we take a rain check? Yes, I do mind. We all live in the same town together. We have children that go to the same school. We're probably going to be seeing each other quite often and for the rest of our lives. Kill me now. So we might as well get used to it. Would you two like to join us? You're joking. I am not joking. There's plenty of room. Sit down. I'm game. Well, who can resist such a lovely invitation? Allow me. Thank you. Well, thanks for driving me back to my car. Thanks for having lunch with me. At least you had the decency to stay to the end. Oh, please. You love getting Jack so riled up he had to leave. For the last time, I didn't plan any of this. I had no idea Jack would even be there. Well, you certainly made the most of it. You're telling me that you didn't enjoy watching Jack squirm? No, not a bit. Okay, maybe a, maybe a bit. <laughs> You know, if we had gotten married like we planned, you could have seen Jack squirm for days, weeks even. Hey, don't. You promised me you wouldn't bring that up. Yeah, I also promised I would never darken your doorstep again, and I've tried to keep that promise. But, you know, running into you today, I mean, by chance, just proves to me that we really do get along, don't we? Don't push it. Today was about Johnny, not about us. Right. It's almost time for the bell to ring. And when all those kids come pouring out of there, Johnny's going to have a big smile on his face, happy to see his dad. I hope so. You see, I'm not such a bad guy after all. No comment. Oh, come on. Admit it. You like me. I know you do. Dream on. 